Under a new bill at the State House, if a selectman votes to restrict gun rights, citizens will be able to sue that elected official individually, bringing them into court and not the town. This is a constitutional right that we have that is extended to all the citizens fairly and uniformly, okay? Yet some towns decide that, oh, in this case, we're not going to allow that to take place. Opponents say this is overreach and local officials should be able to make decisions about things like where gun ranges can be located in their towns. We shouldn't be threatening them criminally or civilly for acting in good faith to protect their constituents. Last year, Milford banned target shooting on a large public property where the activity had become popular. This legislation names the city as a violator of gun rights, but selectmen say that's not what their decision was about. It obviously was very controversial on both sides, I'm very passionate, and you know this really isn't about gun ownership, it's about use. This bill is also dividing Second Amendment groups. Pro-Gun New Hampshire says it gives too much power over firearms to the legislature, a move that could backfire. Now imagine every two years we change parties, sort of who's in control. So the next party that comes in is totally anti-gun and says everybody has to get rid of their guns. And two years later, a new party comes in and says, oh, you can have guns. It doesn't make sense. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.